Welcome to this little CSS tutorial. We're going to build a Star Wars crawl in this one. As you can see here, it's looking just as in the movie, and this is done with just a few lines of CSS. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. And I'm going to do it in the code sandbox.io. I've already prepared this one here. I just have a body here with a div that's called crawl, and I have the pre-header, that's the one you can see here, and the header. And the text is from The Force Awakens. You can, of course, use whatever text you want here. So this is the header, and then I have a couple of P tags here with the text in it. So this is everything we need to get started. And I'm just going to write the CSS inside of this file. That's the index.html file. And of course, I will share the link below the video. So let's get started. And I've also provided a stars.png file with the star background here. So that's the one I'm going to use. Okay, so let's start off with the body. So we have the body, and we're going to set the background. It's an URL, and we grab our stars.png file. And I don't know why this won't highlight here. That's a shame, because it would be much easier to read the code. All right, have to live with that one. Okay, we set our background size. To cover, and we have our overflow set to hidden. And lastly, on this one, we set the color. It's going to be FFB13A. Okay, and we can save it and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got our background, and we got our text here with the correct color, so that's nice. Then we have the actual crawl div, so we have to style this one to our likings. So we have dot crawl. We have a font family of Arial and Sans Serif. And I know this is not the original font, but it will do for us. I didn't find that one, at least one that was free to use here. So you can, of course, change the font if you have a better one. But I think it looks quite similar to the original one. We're going to text align this to justify. Because the text is justified in the original crawl. We set the margin to zero and auto. So this will center the div for us. We have a font weight of 800 and a font size of 50 pixels. And we set the line height to 80 pixels, okay? So of course you can change this to your likings. This is just my preferences to make it look similar to the original, okay? I'm also going to set the fixed width and height for this one. And of course, there's other ways you can do this one where you don't have to have that. But in this case, I will have it because that's the, the easiest way for this tutorial. So we have a width of 1000 pixels and a height of 1600 pixels. We can save this one and reload it and see what we've got. And it looks great, but you can see this one is justified here, but we have to center these headers also. So we will do that. Next, I have a pre-header class and a header class. So we can just style this one. So first we have the pre-header with text align. We set it to center. And it's also going to have a margin of 40 pixels and zero. All right, so that's everything we need for this one. Then we have our dot header class. With text align that also to center, and we set the margin to 0, 0, and 100 pixels, and 0. Save it and see what we've got. Right, looking great. So that's our text and our background, and now we have to animate it to make it look cool as the original. Yeah! And we're going to animate this with keyframes in CSS. And we're also going to use transform to change the perspective and the rotation on the text. And that's the one we can do first. So we have this text now, and in our crawl, we can add a transform. So first we can rotate it, rotate X. We're going to rotate it on the X axis because we want to kind of tilt it forward here. And we can set it to 20 degrees. Save it just to see what we've got. And you won't see it now, actually, 
maybe change a little bit here because we want to change the perspective also, otherwise we won't see the effect. And we can do that by adding perspective. And yeah, I tweak this a lot and I reached the conclusion that 250 pixels is good for this one. And as you can see now, it's tilted and I think it looks great. And we also, of course, have to move it down when we animate this one because we want it to start outside of the screen. Okay, you can play with these values as you want. I'm just rotating it on the X axis. And I set the perspective to a value here that I tweaked. I tried a lot of values to make it look as the original here. Okay, then we have to create our animation. So we can do that below here, below the header class. And we set our keyframes. We can call it uh, scroll crawl. And inside here, we're going to start at 0%. We start at zero and then we're going to set it how we want it to look at 50% and also at 100%. We can actually type these ones out now, 50%. And we have 100%. Like so. Okay, when we are at 0%, we want to set our transform. So we can just copy this one and paste it in here. Yeah, it's really a shame that we don't get code highlighting here, but all right, I I've actually didn't experience this before because it looks nice all the time otherwise. But of course, when I decide to record this, it's going to cause me trouble here. Yeah, no worries. I think we'll be fine anyways. It's not that much code, so I think it's kind of readable now anyways. Okay, so we have our perspective and we have our rotate X, and then we're going to animate it on the Y axis, because if we animate it on the Y axis, that makes us go actually backwards here. So we're going to move it outside of the screen first, and then we're moving it slowly up in the screen. And we can do that by changing the translate Y value. So we can just add this one here, translate Y, and we're going to start at 680 pixels. And that's of course, is also a value that I tweaked to make it look nice. And then if we copy this one and paste it in here at 100%, we're going to translate it to as much as 4,000 pixels. Like so. So that's our animation for now. And we can use this animation in our crawl class just below here, below the transform, we can set the animation. We have our scroll crawl. And of course, that's how we named it below here. So we're just calling that one here. And it's going to be active for 90 seconds. And it's going to be linear. Okay, so hopefully if we save this one now and reload it, it will work. Yeah, and it does, it looks nice. Yeah, looking great. And I just have one little more detail to add to this one because when it go far here down in the deep space, I want it to also fade away. And I'm going to set the opacity here. So I set the opacity to one at first, and then when we're at 50%, I'm going to start to fade it out with the opacity. So the opacity is going to be one there also. And then I set the opacity to zero when we are at 100%. And I'm actually going to lower the time here so we can see it in action. It's going to be real quick now. I changed it to 10 seconds and reload it but we should be able to see it fade out in the background here. Yeah. And that's great. So I'm going to change it back to 90 seconds. And there you have it. That's all that you need to create the Star Wars crawl with just CSS. It's not much code at all, as you can see here. So it's a really easy one. And that's why I thought it was a good video to present to you because I love Star Wars. You probably know that already if you have followed me for a while. And I think this, um, yeah, and I think this is a good video to show you 
that it won't have to be that hard to animate with CSS. And yeah, it's not that much you have to do to create kind of simple stuff. So that's everything there is to it. Hope you enjoy this one and see you in the next one.